All right, so what are we going to... And um, I, yeah. So I just said before I stop the video, we'll get to some Python code in a minute. Um, I have not forgotten that. So what do we do with this? We simulate it, right? So numerical simulation of differential equations is a large and complicated field, right? That we are not going to get into because that's not what we're here for, right? One of the great things about the leaky integrate and fire neuron is that it is simple enough that we can use a very lazy uh, half-assed simulation and get away with it, right? And we're going to use the Euler method. So Euler method, more or less, is sort of mathematician speak for given a voltage at a time, we update that voltage with some little time step times that state equation, right? So that's basically it, right? Every time step, we start with a voltage, or so I say voltage, it could be any variable in our model, right? But since the LIF only has one variable, right? The leaky integrate and fire only has voltage. That's the only time dynamic variable. Um, we start with a value for voltage, and then we multiply that with some little bitty time step times that update rule, right? And we can fairly efficiently translate that into Python code. It ends up looking like this. And I'm going to repeat very quickly that this kind of Euler method is not very sophisticated and we get to get away with this because the LIF is very simple, right? So I'm going to define a time. I'm going to define the scale of my time step. So if we loosely think of time as being in units of seconds, right? then what I'm basically saying by, by saying that dt is one over 100 is that I want 100 time steps per one second, basically, right? So I'm breaking a second of simulation time into 100 steps. I'm going to start out at a voltage of negative 10 for no reason at all, other than that I want you to be able to see when I graph it the exponential decay happening. V0 is negative 60, and that's in millivolts. So negative 60 millivolts, which is a reasonable value, basically. And that tau, that time factor, is 2. So what I'm basically, and we can sort of loosely think of this as time scale of 2 seconds, kind of. There is a technical definition for it, but basically we're saying that we want to see our dynamics play out over about 2 seconds, more or less. So a loose, intuitive way to think about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to yeah, run my simulation at 100 steps per second, and I'm going to watch my network because I'm not applying a current. Or I'm going to watch my neuron because I'm not applying a current. Start at a voltage of negative 10 millivolts, decay to negative 60 over around about two seconds ish. All right, and I'm going to keep track of my voltages so I can plot them, and I'm going to run this thing for 10 seconds. All right. And here is that update rule from before, right? Remember before that the update rule was 1 over tau v minus v naught, where v naught is that rest voltage, right? So there's our update rule, right? There's dv equals that, where that is a variable that changes, that's a constant, and that's a constant, right, that we've defined up here. Then I'm going to multiply it by dt, right? Where dt is the size of my time step. So this is sort of, if you will, the direction of change, but I need to multiply it by how tiny our time step is. And then I add that to the voltage. And then I add my little time step to t so I can keep track of it, right? And then once this test is false, we've finished our simulation and I can plot our voltages. And I hope I have done that. No, I didn't do that. Oh, why? Huzzah, now I've done that, right? So, right, there's our code, and there we see it, right? Remember that it's 100 steps per second, so it's about, right, six seconds, eight seconds, a thousand. So I said, um, like, yeah, I said uh, a time scale of about two seconds. I was kind of fuzzy about what that meant. We are um, asymptotically approaching negative 60. 
what I believe it is, I forget the exact number, but it's something like two thirds of our decay has occurred by two seconds, right? So we decay very, very rapidly and then we slow down, 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 right? And we cross at, at, at good lord, at two seconds, right? We've crossed about two thirds of the way and we're starting to slow down quite a bit. So we exponentially decay. There we go. Okay. So, oops. 